Major Slack videos. Well, yeah, the name is Slack. Thanks for coming back. Let's walk through some more Elden Ring. We are here in the Weeping Peninsula. And why are we here? It's like we are here to level up. We are, we have a, a bunch of really heavy duty boss fights that await us in the main quest line. And we have to get ourselves buffed up before we uh, do that. Uh, yeah, I know we're going in the opposite direction of the main quest line, but yeah, there's a whole purpose. There's a method to my madness. Um, this is not madness, actually. This is a very same thing to do with any character, is to come to the Weeping Peninsula and get all the goodies and level up your character before you push on into the main quest line. Um, we are going to get two new weapons. We're going to get a Golden Seed. We're going to get the Map Fragment for the Weeping Peninsula. We are going to get... A special item that will bump up our face so we can use more spells. Um, we are going to get a lot of things. Let's get underway. First thing on the agenda, I went and did a whole bunch of thin beast, thin beast bone farming so that I could make a ton of bolts, bone bolts. So I can max out my bone bolts because I got a ton of thin beast bones. Okay, so I have the maximum amount of bolts. That's going to be very important. First thing, next video. All right, we want lots of bolts for our crossbow. My favorite way of farming thin beast bones is, let me just show you this quickly now. We're not going to do it where you can do it. Um, but I'm just going to, by way of example, go to Storm Hill Shack. I'm not sure if I covered this before. Once you're at Stormhill Shack, as you may or may not know, a whole bunch, whole bunch of wolves are going to drop down here. What you can do is go into sneak mode, creep forward very carefully in a southwesterly direction towards the road. As soon as you hear the wolves howl, back up. And if you get back quickly enough, you'll be in sneak mode. Then you can just pick them all off with your glintstone pebble. One pebble each from sneak mode. And you won't be running around like a chicken with his head cut off. Okay, these may, may give up beast bones, but this is not the farm. The farm is down the road there. It's the same field where we went to take down the big troll above Stormgate. Right in this field here, there are a ton of sheep. This is my favorite spot to get a whole bunch of beast bones real quick. Make sure you get the ram right away because he's going to come up and get up in your face. And then just blast all the sheep with your glintstone pebble and what the pebble does, or rather, what the lock on decides to target is. is always funny, yeah. See, all those sheep. And there's a good chance they're going to give up thin beast bones. And that's how I get a ton of thin beast bones very quickly. Alright, and then you can use those to craft yourself a whole bunch of bolts. Okay, so I'm just going to assume you did that. You got tons of bolts. And we're going to go back to our original location at Castlemoor Rampart. So your crossbow has tons of ammunition. Next, here in Weeping Peninsula, the best thing to do right now is to map out the area. And the map fragment is right here at this beacon. It's just a hop, skip, and a jump away. We're going to race down there and get it. And by the way, I took off my prisoner's helmet because I'm trying to lighten his load. Um, the load I have now is the rapier, in the right hand I have the rapier and the blood hand's fang, and in the left hand I have the glintstone staff and the heater shield, and that puts us into a heavy load. So I took off his helmet for now. Um, we don't need armor. You're rolling with the slackster. Stick with the slack and you won't get whacked, okay? <laughs> yeah, glass, glass cannon for now. Down this way towards the south, towards our beacon. You see that kind of pillar there right above the prisoner's head? That's where we're going. However, there's this big badass giant gigantic ballista guy way in the distance and he's gonna start shooting heavy arrows at us like these gigantic ballista bolts at us. He's gonna cover this entire area here so we're gonna have to speed run down 
grab that map fragment and speed run back. Okay, let's do it. Right about here, usually they like to jump off. Get into sneak mode. Grab that map fragment. Won't be able to look at the map now because we're in combat. See? He's shooting at us. If you can see, if you look just to the right of the pillar, he's way in the distance. I'll give you a better shot of him later. Anyways, as soon as he finish, finishes another shot, you're going to get on your horse and we're going to speed run back to the side of Grace. Typically, you're safe here. Okay, let's go. And if you feel really nervous, you can always double jump your horse as you're going back to kind of throw off his aim. And you probably won't be able to open the map because we're in combat until we get back to the site of grace and rest to reset the game. Back here. Rest. And make sure you wait until morning. Why, Slack? Because... There's a big badass boss here that patrols around that night. We're going to take him down first thing next video, but we don't want to deal with him now. Okay? The Knight's Cavalry patrols up and down this road at night. I'll show you what he looks like right now. If you wait till nightfall. There he is. That guy right there. Okay? We can take him out. I got a beautiful little strategy to take him out, but it'd be better if we took him out with a better staff. And that's what we're going to do. So let's get rid of him by waiting till morning. Better staff and more more flask charges and, you know, just better. <laughs> we want better before we take him on. He's worth 3,400 runes. Next, we have a golden seed that we picked up from Kenneth Height. We need another golden seed to go with that so we can level up and get another flask charge. The other golden seed. Here's our new map. As you can see, with the wimping <laughs> the wimping penicilla. <laughs> what was I gonna say? The wimping penicilla. <laughs> there you go, the wimpy pen penicilla. Um the weeping peninsula. It's all mapped out now. Beautiful little area to come to level up for any character. Lots of goodies in this area. We're going to go after some specific stuff. We're not going to like 100% the whole place going after some specific stuff. Um, the golden tree flask chart, it's, it's at these ruins here and right below, right about here. That's exactly where it is. And the big giant gigantic giant throwing ballistas is there. He's covering this entire area here. Okay, so as soon as you get in this area, you're going to be under fire from him. Best thing to do is we're going to stick to the right side as we go up here, all the way up here, sneak up the right side, and then drop down. You should be able to get down there to there without alerting him, as long as he sticks to this right side. All right, so let's do that. Up we go and make sure it's morning so you don't have to deal with the nice cavalry. Going in the southwest direction and stick to the cliffs on the right side here. Hug the cliff all the way up. You can use this ramp to get up here. And then back to the cliff side. Get a couple mushrooms here. And then back over here. You can double jump up here. Uh, yep. Stick to the, the right side. Don't go down there. Go right here. See that kind of curved fallen over building there? That's where we're going. Okay. down here. Easy now. Easy. Drop down here. Okay, and go along the edge of the building here. Pick up some herba here. And right here is where you want to be. See the golden tree? It's right above the prisoner's head. So we can like just double jump over here. As soon as we get to the bottom, we're going to dismount and go into crouch mode. And that giant should be fairly calm. Okay. Double jump over here. Drop down. Dismount. Crouch mode. Oops. <laughs> he just kicked away 200 bucks like yeah, I know. Oopsie daisy. Anyways, figure that out literally. There he is right there. And here is our golden seed. Go into crouch mode, sneak up, grab it, and we get yourself a golden seed. Let's have a little look-see here. Bring up your binoculars. There he is. He doesn't know we're here. Shh, quiet. Very, very quiet. Okay, so 
We're out of combat now. By the way, when you bring up your telescope, right, the best way to put it away is to simply crouch. Because he always stands up to, you know, to use it. So if you want to put it away quickly, just simply crouch and that'll put you like get you back sneaky again. Anyway, so we're not in combat now, so we could just fast travel back to Castlemore Rampart and Bob's your uncle. Now we have two golden seeds. Let's use them. Get an extra flask charge. Okay, go to flasks. Add charge to flask. Use two golden seeds to increase the number of flask uses. Yes, please. Add another charge to flask, and now we can allocate our flask charges. We're playing as a mage primarily, so let's pile it up. most of it into magic juice and one into health juice, um, just as a kind of um, emergency measure. Okay, so one in six, and we're good. That's that. We're going to go back in this area later on next video, but for now we're going to focus on Upper Weeping Peninsula, this area here. Alright, and this all kicks off at this location here, the Bridge of Sacrifice. At the Bridge of Sacrifice, let me just get rid of that beacon. By the way, some of you are advising me, like, you know, you can always run through a beacon when you're, like, in the world to get rid of it. Yeah, I'm, I'm fully aware of that. That's, like, a video game standard. However, um, when I'm playing on my PS4, I'm a complete klutz on the PS4 controller. When I'm playing Elden Ring on my PS4, as a general rule, I always leave beacons up until the like I'm absolutely sure I won't use them anymore so I always leave them up so that's why I always use the map to remove them because I'm often stumbling into areas where I'm suddenly in combat and I have no clue where I am and the beacon my last beacon that I set is the only thing that I can use because once you're in combat you can't use the map so at the very least you have a beacon showing on the compass showing you where you were <laughs> And that's a kind of an emergency, you can always head back there. So that's why I always leave these beacons up until the last minute. That's why I'm always using the map to remove the beacon. But I'm fully aware that you can just walk through the beacon in the once you're in the world and walk through it and that'll automatically make it disappear. That's like a video game standard, I'm fully aware of that. Alright, so just to, you know, because a lot of people have posted comments about that saying, Slack, did you know? So we're going in this direction, the westerly direction. That looks a little high, but you can double jump up here. Up you go, Torrent. Another thing. This is very basic that you get with the crafting kit right away. You don't need a recipe for it. This thing here, Roa Raisin. And you make this simply from Roa Fruit. Roa Fruit is everywhere in the lands between. And this is basically horse food. It's Torrent food. Let's make a few of these. If ever Torrent drops off a height that is too high for him and he takes some damage, you can feed him some of this Roa Raisin to get him to get his health back up to snuff. And we are going here. Alright, got that one. Here is a tree nip watch it no. I'm just gonna get off because I want to get this tree nips lily. These are rare and they don't respawn. Okay. That's too high for our prisoner, but Torrent can take it, but he's going to take damage. But we can just feed him some Roa Raisin when we get to the bottom. So there, that jump off here. See, so he takes a little damage. Let's go to your inventory. Here you go, Torrent. Have something to eat. Yum, mm, yum, yum. There we go. He's all better. Okay, next. There is a rainbow stone in here. I'm not really that concerned about that, but let's go get it anyways. Get ready for some combat. All right, let's something over there. That guy hiding in the bush there. Keep tapping your lock on. Finding these guys. Hiding out, trying to, waiting to ambush you. Here's another one.
Here's more thin beast bones. And a rainbow stone. Next, we're going to go up this ramp here to a tower up there. I if you can see from here. Which has the hand ballista. Which we won't be able to make a lot of ammo for now, but it's pretty powerful. And we're eventually working our way over to this area here, the Demi-Human Queen's Ruins. I think it's called the Demi-Human Forest Ruins. Right here. That's where the Demi-Human Queen's staff is. But might as well get some stuff on the way. Waste not want not. Opportunity knocks. Okay, you gotta watch it here because there's a guy with a ballista up there. Like kind of like a minor ballista in that tower there. So best thing to do is head straight through here, stick to the right side there, and then we'll approach straight through here. This should be out of range. And then knowing we just went past the glowing skull there. And there is a, a actually a sight of grace here. Discover that. Let's have a little rest. Okay, I'll show you where that side of grace is. It is the south of the lookout tower side of grace. Let's just clear out this area here. There's another dog over there. There's another Trina's Lily. These things can be used to make sleep pots, but they don't respond, so you want to use them like sparingly. Very good. Good. Beast bones and some beast blood. Very good. And some mushrooms over here. Okay, let's see if we can race along this cliff and then along the backside and get up to the tower before the ballista guy kind of gets activated. Oh, yep. All the way along the cliff's edge. Stay out of range. Poison flowers here, ignore them. And right here, see that rebel ramp there? You can dismount here. Jump up here, get ready to take someone at the top. And he's down. Great. Excellent. So now we can climb up and take out the ballista guy. There, have a little drink there, prisoner. You can see him up there. Hey, get ready. We're gonna get to the top, go into sneak mode, we're gonna stab him in the back. There he is, right there. <laughs> sneak mode. Lock on. Press your skill button. And a little extra stabby, and down he goes. Dude! Dude! And in here is the hand ballista. Requires 30 strength to use, and it gives you 5 ballista bolts to start off with. We can't make ballista bolts yet because we don't have the recipe for it. Um, but we could actually use this if we took the flask of wondrous physic, which will bump up our strength by 10 points, and then we wield it in, hold it in two hands. We'd actually be able to use that. Demonstrate that later. It's this right here. It's pretty good damage. Once we wield it in two hands, 
It's going to do about 185 damage. So that's a pretty good ranged weapon that we can use in a pinch. All right, next, let's go back down. You, you thought you were going to get away. Without me leading you. Okay, could be some guys out here. Let's take care of business. And that should be everybody, but it's not. There's always a dog over here. Done and done. Smoldering butterflies. Thank you very much. And while you're at it, let's make some fire pots. I'm gonna use those next video. Lots of fire pots. This area down and out. Next. There is a cave here. There's kind of like um a ghost that will lead you to the Earthborn cave. It's right around here. Let's just get on our horse so that we can get away from the poison flowers here. Well, got some enemy activity here. Make sure I'm put it in the right way. Yep, I am. Okay. You guys. I'm starting to really love that glintstone pebble sound. I love the sound of glintstone pebble in the morning. Sounds like victory. <laughs> okay, good. Torrent, my man. Take us to the next location. There it is. <laughs> Put the marker right where, almost exactly where it is. Ah, to slack all of it, to slack all of it. It's that glowy tree there. Let's go through there. See, I went through a beacon to make it disappear. Aren't you proud of me? There you go. No, I knew about that. That's a, that's a video game standard. But like I said, I don't like taking out beacons until the. I'm absolutely sure I don't need them anymore. Need them anymore. Anyways, examine this, and it's going to reveal a ghost, and you're going to follow his footprints to the Earth Bore Cave. Oops, now you see him, and now you don't. Oh, he's got a little footy prints, okay? Let's follow the footy prints. He's like staggering along. Whoa, what a night. Drank a whole bottle of Newfoundland Screech and then chased it with a dozen Budweiser's. I'll never do that again. Anybody out there ever try Screech? If you're a Canadian like me, you know what Screech is. Maybe a guy's having it in the States too, I don't know. Here we go, Earthborn Cavern, Earthborn Cave. Beginning of the cave is a sucker play. We have the Site of Grace discovered. We can come back here anytime we like. Um, let me just so show you about this sucker play. Put on your torch. Okay, easy, easy, easy. Watch it. 
There's a treasure chest, Slack. Yeah, but if you rush for the treasure chest, you're going to fall through that broken floor right there. See where all the, the floor is all fragmented? Like if you step anywhere on that, you're going to fall through. You can still get the chest, though. Just go around. Carefully around. Make sure you don't step on the fragmented part. And here you're going to get a pickled turtleneck or something like that. Oh, exactly. I think we already have one of those. Bumps up your stamina temporarily. Stamina recovery. Okay, so we got that. That's all we're going to do. We're going to come back here um, at a later date. And let's have a little rest. Recharge. And we don't need the torch anymore. Next, a new staff, a new magic staff. Let's see if there's some enemy activity here. And you're hiding out in the bushes, eh? Waiting to ambush me? What are you doing there, prisoner? This is where we're going next. The Demi Human Forest Runes. It's best to approach it from the north side. So let's put a beacon there. Now we want to clear out the enemies on the way because we don't want to be flanked. There it is up ahead. Yeah, we don't want to be flanked as we're getting all sneaky on these guys. Refill me, baby. Atta boy. A rickety shield. It's an interesting name. What are you all about? It has the parry skill on it, and it's a piece of shit. Pardon my French. Um, okay. Hence, the rickety shield. Okay. There is the Demi Human Forest Runes. There's the badass queen. What we're gonna do is we're gonna sneak up. I'm assuming that's the the Demi Human. I mean, we get her staff, so that must be the queen. Anyways, we're gonna sneak, do this all complete stealth. And what you wanna do is you wanna s switch over to your Blood Fang. And. Get up the back door here. Stealth on all the heads, demi humans. Inside, without alerting the big queen. Okay. It's easy, just easy, easy. Just go in here like this. Should be able to one shot him. Nice and quiet. Sneak over here like this. Nope. 
Sometimes I question the game's choice of what to lock onto. It's like it often chooses the furthest target away, or the wrong target. Okay, so that's everybody around. That leaves just her. Okay, for this we're going to use the um, the power of the Bloodhound's Fang. I'm going to go full metal jacket on this guy. Take your glass flask of wondrous physic. This will bump up our strength so we can use it in two hands. We're going to put it in two hands anyways. Scholar's Armament. Wield it in two hands. Refill your flask. And we're going to sneak right up behind her. Press the skill button, then the strong, strong attack button, then the attack button. Okay? Skill, strong, attack. And that should finish her off just like that. Let's do it. Demi-Human's Queen Staff and the Crystal Burst. And these guys are left over. Whoops. Wrong spell. And this area is clear. So we got ourselves a new staff. And... An arteria leaf, which we can use to make, um... Don't tell me. Um... It's the thing that gives you 20% extra attack damage, I forget the name of it. Something flesh. Exalted flesh. Haha, <laughs> I remembered it. <laughs> Exalted flesh. As we get, uh, I'm pretty sure you make arteria, use arteria leaf to make those. Okay, so we got ourselves a new staff. Take a little look see. That's the old one. That's the new one. As you can see, their sorcery scaling is identical. But this one is buffed. This one is not. As soon as we smith this up, this is. The, queen, the demi human queen staff is going to be better than our original. So that's what we're going to do. This is our, our staff until further notice. Let's put it in the this slot here and put the rapier in this slot here. And let's put the crossbow there. And the heater shield there. Alright. Excellent. And we have a new spell, the Crystal Burst, which was pathetic before patch 1.03, and then they made it better, and now it's slightly less pathetic. Oh. Yeah, I know, you can open those by just rolling over them, or by using the horse I like doing things my my way <laughs> um, just for fun okay there is one more thing to pick up in this area here I'm stuck see so you can get up here watch over the poison flowers stick to the left here and see down there that dish and the little glinty thing in the center of three poison flowers, that's a sacred tier. What we could do is just use the glintstone pebble to take out all these poison flowers. Maybe we can go grab that. Okay, this will make our flask refills more powerful. Oh, sorry. This is that what I was just talking about is over at the Church of Pilgrimage. This is another very important item. The Faith Knot Crystal Tear. This will bump up our faith by 10 points, which we can now use 
to cast new spells because before um, our faith is only six. Right here, six. And you need at least 10 faith to equip or use, rather properly use a finger seal, which is what you use to cast incantations. So now with this, we can put this in the Flask of Wondrous Physic, bump up our faith by 10 points, which will allow us to use the finger seal, which we can buy off the guy at um, the round table hold. And we can add a whole bunch of new spells to our inventory if we buy the spells. And um, only for three minutes per rest, but still, it'll give us, a, you know, um, more options. Many more options. So that's an important acquisition for a mage. Okay, so one more stop, and that is the Church of Pilgrimage, which is where we're going to get the sacred sacred here I was just talking about. So we're going to go down here and right up there. Let's do it. Watch out for this guy here. He's going to start raining down poison, a poison barrage. So quickly ride past him. Church of Pilgrimage. And here is the sacred tier. Okay. That'll make our flask refills more powerful. So discover this last grace. Let's have a little rest. Apply the sacred tier. Flasks. Increase amount replenished by flask. Use sacred tier to increase the da 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 da. Yes, please. And everything is as it should be. And we're done here. That's it, people. Thanks a lot for watching. And coming up next, we're going to go back to the Castle Morn Rampart location and take down that night. After, um, let's do that right now, actually. Yeah, let's buff up the staff right now by going to the round table hold. Hopefully everybody has at least 12 level 1 smithing stones and 2 level 2 smithing stones. If you've been following this walkthrough, you should have that. Here we go, I've got 16 and 2 level 2s. Let's go buff up our new magic staff. Here at the round table hold, look for the fireplace, go to the left of the fireplace, go down this hallway here, find the blacksmith. Well, where have you been hiding? I took you for dead. No matter, it's all the same. Lay out your arms then. Alright, strength and armament. Find your new demi human queen staff and level up one two three and four times bob's your uncle so now if we compare the two staffs there's the original this one's sorcery scaling is 145 whereas this one's sorcery scaling is only 134 so considerable improvement put the eater shield back on and back to the castle mourn rampart all right coming up next first thing next video we're going to take on the knight's cavalry boss fight if you're nervous about losing your money spend all your money now but I'm going to show you an easy way to take him down. It's pretty, lo really low risk. Even if you do lose your money, it's going to be out there in the field. Just hop on your horse, run out, and grab it. Run back. It's no big deal. So I wouldn't worry too much about losing your money. Like I said, stick with the slack, and you won't get whacked. Thanks a lot for watching!
And was that worth the price of admission or what? Covered a lot of ground. We're ready to rock. So, um, yeah, give me a thumbs up and post a comment. Subscribe to make sure you don't miss any of my videos. And I'll see you next time for some more Elden Ring. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1, that's all. That's all it takes. Alright? Thanks a lot. Really appreciate it.